Hi viewers and welcome to the channel. And today we're looking at an example of a part and part design workflow working together. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples over a number of videos of where we can use those. So in this example, I'm gonna show you the reasons why you would use it for something like a mirror. As you can see, I've got a fusion here. And inside that fusion, if I hide that, I've got a body, which is part of the part design. This fusion is the part. And also if we go down, you can see the mirror body here. So we're looking at this workflow here and how you would use those. You can see the split down the middle as well, but that doesn't exist in our fusion. So we've got a nice clean model here compared to the body, which is obviously a split between those and it's built as two pieces that are being mirrored over. So we're gonna show you how to get rid of that as well. This is the first example that I'm gonna show. There's gonna be other examples on my channel regarding this as we go through our journey of learning FreeCAD. So I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope you find them useful. I hope they answer a few questions and let's have a look at this workflow. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to span the channel. So for this demonstration, I need a simple body to work with over in the part design. Create body and create a sketch. I'm gonna go along the XZ plane and I hit okay. And we're gonna create a body in here and we're gonna use a number of features to actually build this body. So I'm gonna give me something simple. And I'm not looking to constrain this too much, just doing it for speed. So I'm gonna pad that to around 50 and create a sketch upon this face. And I'm gonna create a circle in there, close that do some pocketing. And just add a few more features to this. So something like this. Now we can mirror this across to the other side if I wanted this to be one single part where I'm working on one half. So we can go into what we've got here and use a part mirror and mirror everything across to the other side like so. But this doesn't allow me any flexibility with working on additional features in here. So for instance, if I want to change this now, I can't actually come in to the body. And if I hide that mirror, I bring back this pocket. And I added some additional features on here. Say we add a new sketch upon that face and we wanted to take some more out of here and take another circle out of here, hit close and do a pocket through that. And see, we get the, the mirror come back and the pockets our last one upon there. We'll bring back the mirror and you can see, well, with this mirror, we need to add that pocket in there because as a mirror that feature across, so we have some inflexibility with this. What's best to do, if I get rid of that pocket and that mirror and the sketch, and we'll come back to that, is that we can use the part workbench. So this is where the part workbench workflow is valid for this. So we've got this body. What we can do is click on the body and then create a mirror or up to part mirroring and we're looking to mirror along the 
my Z plane, hit OK, that mirror is over there. Therefore, we have this body inside a mirror. But with this body is still active, we still can add features to this. You can see the last action is the pocket. So I can come into here now, I can hide that mirror. I've got this visible. And we can come over the part design. And let's create that sketch again upon there. And we can just place a circle in here, something like that, close. And then we can pocket the way through here, so through all, hit OK. And then we'll go back to the, the body mirror. You can see that's taken in there. So it's a much easier workflow to work with. Our body is contained within the part. So we've still got the part design workflow inside the body. What this allows me to do is when I finish, I can actually take this body and come back over to the part workbench and we can drill into this, select the body, select the body mirror, which is part of the part and then do booleans against here. Like I could run a boolean operation between two shapes, say do a union and that will fusion those together to create them as one. We've still got the workflows inside. We can still do editing within here to allow this to be edited. The good thing is that if I refine that fusion and click off, you can see the faces have disappeared. So our seam has disappeared and we've got this nice solid object to work with. And we can export this quite easily. So our fusion now can be exported as an STL format. And we say unnamed fusion.stl. STL is a binary, AST is the ASCII. I'm going to call this demo fusion. So when I import that back in, or import it to something like a slicer or something like that, then I can use that. I'm just going to import it back into FreeCAD so we can have a look at it. So let's get rid of this fusion. And we've got the demo fusion there. And you can see that it is one solid object. There's no components in here because there's no seams. This is all one object. So if I went over to something like the mesh design and we click on our demo fusion and come up to meshes and split by components, that will split it into the individual components, but we've only got one component there. So that's our model there. It's a solid model. We've created the solid with the fusion and we're able to export it as STL. And this is one of the workflows where you can actually use the part and part workbench, or part and part design workbench, sorry, together. So that is one of the valid places to use that. We've got the fusion, we've got the body inside, so we can hide that fusion, we've got the body, we can bring this back and we can come over to our part design and I can still add amendments to here. We may need to take the refine off the fusion, but with fine is true, but we're not adding to this fusion, we're actually adding to the underlying body. So we can come into the body and we can add some more detail in here. So I'm just gonna add a sketch upon here and we'll add a little slot in here, like so close that. This time we'll pad it by a millimeter. And then if I bring back the fusion, you can see we've still got that. Let's hide that body. And the refine has come through because we haven't added anything onto here. We've actually added it onto the underlying body. So that's a workflow contained within a part workflow. So we've got our value workflow here, we're adding to that workflow. We've just contained it with a part workflow. And that's where the part and part design workbenches can be used as one. We can add additional actions onto this in the part workflow. But just remember that we've got a part design workflow underneath that. 
so any modifications underneath may have an effect on the modifications outside that in that part. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.